Hi guys, welcome back with me and my guest star Anjali Patanjali that just runs my life and doesn't listen to me. So today I want to talk to you about feet. If you watched the video on hands, the problem we were having with our hands outside of not keeping them together and spreading them on the mat was that the thumb and index was lifting. So just like naturally the hand loves to roll to the outside, the feet like to do the same thing. A huge realization I was having of like, why do my students choose to suffer is when I went back to the motherland and my luggage didn't arrive on time. So apparently a size nine in Eastern Europe is like giant foot. So here I am walking around in um, Dracula's castle in Ca Transylvania with my fake Nikes on and literally my feet were like this. Are you getting this, babe? This is my partner and videographer, my feet. Are you getting my feet? So it would be like walking like this, right? You would never, ever, ever, okay, thank you videographer, back it up now. You would never ever buy shoes like that, that were too small because it's what it would feel like. So the thing is like, I was thinking, why do my students choose to practice like this? It's suffering, you can't use your whole foot and it's painful. So, <laughs> I'm going through her ball. What, when I started yoga and I started noticing that people were doing this, I didn't want to pick up that behavior in my practice. I also came from a gymnastics background. It's different my understanding of the body because on a balance beam, the way you use your feet is different than on a floor. So what I started doing is when I noticed that this was happening, I would just lift my feet up. So can you bring the awareness to your practice every time your feet grip? Can you just lift them up? This also helps if you have, you know, the collapsed flat arches, if you've broken your ankles. Okay, thank you, videographer. Or if you need to rebuild your ankle strength. I'm clumsy, so a lot of times when my foot turns and I walk, it saves it because you've built that. So it's good. So bring the awareness to whenever you grip your feet to lift your feet up. That would be the first thing I would start to focus on. So just know your feet naturally like to roll out just like with the hands flat on the feet and try to lift up the toes. Now, the other thing is, let's say the front foot in poses, whether it's a triangle pose, right, um, side angle, which is the same as triangle, you're just bending your front leg. A lot of things that I see with people is the foot goes inwards and that puts a lot of pressure on the hip. It usually will injure the knee and something will happen to the lower back. So just think in every single pose, can your front big toe face the front of your mat? So not like this, that's bad, down. When your front foot is forward, since you know it naturally rolls out just like your thumb and index, so keep making the connection, how do you get it down to flatten? Outside of lifting the toes, you push your big toe down and towards the left. So if I took on Julie's bowl, the big toe would press down and towards the left. When you're just think opposite. So when your left foot is forward, same thing. You're like, oh, my foot's rolling out. It's taking out my knee, my hip, back pain, ouch. Everything you don't want in yoga. So now you have the awareness, lift your feet, then spread the big toe. Since the left foot is forward, now you have to think about pushing it down into the right corner of the mat. This lady, she was doing half moon like this, which is again, so popular. I see it all the time. And I asked her, I said, hey, you know, can you please turn your foot forward for alignment's sake of your hip, your knee, your lower back? She's like, my foot doesn't go that way. And I wanted to be like, lady, yes, it does. You walked into class. You didn't walk into class like this. You walked into class like this. Therefore, your foot goes forward. So remember, just like with the hands and the feet, one of them is always touching the floor. Therefore, pay attention to the alignment of them. The hands and the feet naturally like to roll outward. So the pinky side of the hand, the pinky side of the foot. It is your job to flatten and bring it back down or start to lift up your feet. Hope you was helpful. Thanks for the feedback on the last one. Bye from me and Anjali. Till next time, peace out.